I've read the library report. It's in order. I would entertain a motion to approve it. So moved. Second. Motion to made by Scott to approve the library report. Seconded by Hampton. All in favor say, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Now, gentlemen, CDBG housing grant info. Really, I'm not one to, I, I'm really well, unaware of that. That's the one that Howard asked you to look into. Yeah. And evidently, the city, I don't know a lot about it, but the city can apply. They recommend to get a better rating that the city kick in some money, but it does say it's not mandatory. Mm -hmm. And then people can get up to 20, like six people can get up to $25,000 to rehabilitate their house. Six families could do that. Up to six, I think. Like I said, I'm not real familiar with it, but um, Lori wrote us, and I think we have to do a survey before we can even apply for the grant. Yeah, sure. uh, so I don't know if it's worth applying if the city doesn't contribute anything. And like the mayor said, the city shouldn't. We're not using taxpayers' money in not a real estate bank. That's not our business. That's not our business. But we could... Okay. I'm going to move on. Okay. Uh, the county as much as we can. And they're given the call, and they know they've got to check on it before they go off. So they're not making a special trip. Okay. Okay? Okay. Fair enough. The September meeting, due to a Labor Day uh, holiday, uh, <coughs> I'm suggesting we have it the seventh. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, Joan. Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. Uh, Joan, where are we at on delinquent uh, water bills? Well, we had two, and Bill took care of them today. So <laughs> Very good. Don't have it. No shut offs. Bill, you have the table for your report. <coughs> Just got a couple, a couple items. This isn't uh, anything set in stone yet, but. On that landfill um, meeting, the board wants to know what the councils think. Um, there is a possibility that we might end up um, not taking our recyclables to the Howard Activity Center anymore. There is a possibility. They want to get an idea if if it's cost effective to maybe go to Carroll. There is a possibility of that happening. Um, I checked with our local um, um, recycling people to see whether they take the cost. The cost would be to go to Carroll versus where we're going now. It would be about $800 a month. But there is a possibility we would save that and cutting, cutting our ties from the tipping fee of what we're doing right now. Now, there's nothing. I know it's a three-year deal before you can get out of that contract over there, but it sounded like it's possible they might, if both parties agreed to it, I don't know where that's going, but they just more or less want to feel out the councils of, you know, what their thoughts of it is. Okay. And uh, like I said, I don't think it's anything that's going to happen personally in the next few months anyway, but it's just food for thought and we can kind of keep a close eye on it. Okay. See what goes from there. But All right. Is there any comments or anything you want to know? Or well, I think you can check in on stuff. Yeah. yeah. Check it out, keep it on top of it. Okay. All right, the next thing, um, Keith asked me to get some uh, bids on mosquito, uh, like spraying for mosquitoes. I checked with, uh, or we checked with the City of Lakeview. Um, Mosquito control sprays 10 times for about $4,400 for them. And when I talked to Scott about it a little bit, um, he said that there was something about the insurance that was maybe a little cost prohibitive or whatever, but uh, I've talked to other people in the situation, it don't seem like that does matter. I, so I really don't know. But um, that would be, like I said, 10 times. Um, he did tell me that they could really tell it like water carnival weekend when there's a lot of people. They could tell the difference, but it, whether they really, people make much comment on the other nine times, he really didn't know, but he, he didn't really feel that people did, but he said that he knows it's kind of a PR deal, makes people happy to see it go by. So yeah. The studies say it doesn't work. Is that right? Yeah. It's yeah. not very effective. 
I can see in with a lake that maybe you can have a better chance, but in a, a community like ours, I don't know how effective it would be. The, the other thing, I, I did a little more checking and on some machines and different things, and and um, the mosquito control people. Now you got to remember, they're also the ones that do it, you know, for a living. But the, to buy a sprayer, they're saying that well, for one thing, you got to take two tests and be certified, and I think you got to recertify every couple years, which is another cost for that. If we do it ourselves, it's uh, four thousand bucks. He said would probably a sprayer last one or maybe two years. Seven thousand dollars for one four or five years, and ten thousand dollars probably last you ten years. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm sure they're selling the equipment and they want you to buy that the bigger one. But um, he made the other comments that a lot of cities go with uh, aerial, and he said you can get a better hit with that and everything. But I can imagine how well a plane flying low over the town well over there, you know. But anyway, that's pretty much what he said. Now, he also told me that there was another town that uh, called him the other day and said that, well, gee, you know, uh, don't seem like you got the mosquitoes. They, about 10 years, they'd been customers and said, don't think you got the mosquitoes as good as you did. Used to. He said he got bit two or three times, and that guy said, well, you know, only get bit two or three times, it's pretty good. I think so. so so I don't know, you know, there's just, there's two sides of it he, when you talk to other people about it, you know, there's another town that does it, um, you have to go out early in the morning or late at night, and um, I would suppose if you hit all the alleys in all the town, I guess, easily be three hours, I'm guessing, in the evening to probably do it. Because it's, it's, it's not a, a speed limit type trip through, it's a fairly slow drive. And yeah. based on the, the people that contacted me and asked, what the possibility was, and in the comments I had, I said I'd bring it up and we'd discuss it. I don't know, I'd like to, I would like to see it, maybe a trial shot at it with mosquito control if they do it. Yeah, the other thing that he times. told me was the cost would be at four dollars, I was wrong the other day, but four dollars and fifty cents per person for ten or twelve treatments. Well, like I told Keith today, even if you did that, I don't think this is a good time of the year to start doing 10 many. or 12 treatments, you know. No. If they come in and do something... I was thinking like 4 or 5 or 4 or whatever, just to try it. I mean, one, I'm not in favor of it. Two, if we have to do it, if we are asked to consider it, uh, I would rather see somebody like Hoflings that are already in the business of doing lawn service and that type of thing have the equipment and contract with them. You're talking about another license for building to maintain. And, and, and I understand that too, and, and I don't disagree with with Iron because they got plenty on their plate and, and a lot to do, and they just might do what they did. Well, you check with Bergman's? Yep. Year is probably yeah. not bad at mosquito. Not year. interested. You're only going to do he it one out of nine years. years. He's right. out of ten. He just does it for himself. I'm, he does it for his own farm place, and that's it. I've got a sprayer. Uh, of course, he's got a miss sprayer. But the he, mayor always thinks about the money. You don't have his license. And I think about four thousand dollars versus sixty days from now, we're going to have a freeze. But I also, I also know of, of the fact, and it's not in the city, but there's a couple of unconfirmed cases of West Nile, not too far. So, well, well I'm sure. And, you know, I've had enough comments from people that want to know why don't you spray? Why doesn't the city spray?